Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Rising Oblivion. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of another Persona 5 figurines. So, we've talked about a couple different ones, talking about different versions that we have seen. Well, this is a pretty unique version. This is the Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight Makoto. So, this is not just your regular Makoto, this is the Dancing in the Starlight version, which I think is one of the best ones that we have seen so far. Especially when it comes to alternate costumes, this one is pretty cool, and I'd say it's probably one of the best outfits, alternative outfits for the Phantom Thieves. If you look at the rest of the Dancing in the Starlight ones, they're not too amazing, but for Makoto's, hmm, hmm, baby, hmm. Hers in particular, I think, is one of the best. If you look at all the characters, it's kind of eh, but for her, perfect, perfect. But let's go over some logistical stuff real quick. So this isn't called the Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight Makoto Nijiba one. You're able to pre-order it from now until December 15th. So keep that in mind if you're planning on pre-ordering this thing. You don't have a ton of time to pre-order it. It is scheduled to ship from somewhere around August to July of 2021. So that's when you'll see it start being shipped anyway. It is pre-painted PVC model. It is one seventh the scale. It is approximately 23 centimeters tall and it is published from Hobby Japan. So there's some logistical stuff, some stuff that might not matter and is going somewhere around $148. So I know, I know that's that's pretty nuts. That's pretty insane just from hearing the price. A lot of these have super high prices, but I, I think that's not a surprise anymore considering that yeah, I've seen all of you comment about it. It is kind of nuts, but I think it's cool to talk about this stuff just to really see how much detail there are and whether or not it's actually worth doing this. So let's talk about something real quick that I'd like to, something I, don't know, something I just pointed out is her hair looks a little bit darker. She has brown hair. It looks like a very dark brown, which I don't think is super true to the regular Persona 5. Maybe this is more of a Dancing in the Starlight sort of thing when comparing it to the regular Makoto, because I know An's hair is a little bit different when it comes to Dancing in the Starlight as well, so her hair might be a little bit darker because of this. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I just didn't really pick up on that when I played Dancing in the Starlight. I guess I should say that Dancing in the Starlight is the Persona 5 rhythm game. Maybe you don't know what that is. I'm sure a lot of you do though, but that is the dancing or the you know rhythm game of Persona 5 in particular. That is why I think this is a pretty unique model. This is not her normal outfit, it's her dancing outfit, which looks really, really nice. So let's go down to detail about this outfit in general. This picture right here, I think helps learn a little bit more about this and how much detail is put into this. Her outfit's so cool because I think it really shows more about who she is just in general. The black splats on the shirt's pretty cool. On the gray, it looks nice. Even the pose that she's doing here looks very cool. The silver stitches in the shirt, which have some depth when it comes to the actual rips. This rip right here, you can see the skirt underneath. So they didn't go cheap about this. You can even see almost some skin there on those rips. And they have these stitches on top of that as well, which looks super cool and is a really nice contrast to the silver. The silver on the belt, which I believe is sort of stuck on her back there. This belt does absolutely nothing, but it just, I mean, hey, it just looks cool, man. Sometimes that's all it takes. It just gotta look cool. It doesn't even matter. But it's chain link there, which looks super cool. The belt buckle, the spikes on the belt or the studs or whatever you want to call it looks super nice as well. Good detailing on the skirt, even the sort of like legging things she has here. You can actually see it being like pulled up and some ripples in it, which looks super nice. Ripples in the shirt as well. So there is attention to detail all over this figurine, which is nice and is what you should expect for around $150 USD if you convert that from the yen. A little bit of inflation there, but you gotta pay for shipping, so it's practically the same almost. So about 150 bucks is what you're gonna be biting the bullet on if you try to get this figurine, which in terms of detail, this is very high detail. Even the little collar there with the locket on there looks nice. Her face looks nice. A lot of these things you have to keep in mind when it comes to these manufacturers who make these, they're not the people who make the games. They're just trying to match it as well as possible. And I think in terms of her face and the outfit, the attention to detail, this looks pretty damn spot on when it actually comes to the actual character. Her face in general looks very nice. Like I said, the only thing I noticed color-wise is the hair was a little bit off, but this is a picture on a red background. Maybe it's just something there that I'm missing or the Dancing in the Starlight one has her have a little bit of a darker brown. I know she has a dark brown in the game, but this almost looks a shade or two 
too dark. Maybe it's just me. Let me know down in the comments below. Am I just tripping out, man? I might just be tripping a little bit. And to be honest, it's not even something that I'm really upset about. I just happen to notice that when it comes to the character. Her little braid there at the top is there as well, which is nice. A good attention to detail, and it just looks good in general. But the shades of colors, especially the reds, is what I'd like to point out. The red is different on her glove. The red is different in her eyes. The boots are even different as well with the red on the skirt matching. I think the gloves, the red on the skirt matches more towards the gloves, but it is a darker red when it actually comes to the boots, which is really cool and something I liked to notice that they actually did because if you look at the actual character which i think this pose is on the cover as well if not it's somewhere around in the game this pose here she has these the same articulation and the coloring for the outfit is done this exact same way which is a nice little attention to detail how darker red the boots are compared to the different reds like on her eyes on the skirt and on her hands it's not the same exact red they actually did a pretty good job on making sure that the red was a different shade. It was a different color of red, which is nice to notice that they actually did that with the model. They are trying to make this as perfect as they possibly can, which is why they say one seventh model. Like they're trying to get down to the pinpoint accuracies of this character, which I think they do a good job in. Her face looks pretty accurate, pretty similar to what the actual Makoto looks like or clean, however you want to call her. It looks super similar to that, and I think this outfit in general is just done well i'd rather have this than her actual phantom thieves outfit that's just a personal favorite of mine i think this one looks cooler she's a little more free she's able to articulate more you know she's dancing which makes sense but let's go over one more thing before we finish talking about this figurine and that's the stand we talked about this on the last figurine kind of review thing that i did with on how her stand actually had um drawing like she was on the beach so it had a little more detail there this stand is very bland and doesn't actually have a lot to it which isn't the main focal point but i thought i'd just point that out this is just a normal stand that connects to the foot so if you're looking for something a little bit extra when it comes to the stand and stuff like that you're not really getting that here like the one that we've seen with on like the bikini beach one that we've seen with on from the animation there's not much of that here. There's no attention to detail when it actually comes to the stand. The stand's just sort of a normal stand that you'd put her on. But either way, it still works very well. And it's not something you generally notice super hardcore. Unless you're talking about this little spot here where actual foot goes on to. But there has to be something there in order to you know see it. Even detailing on the back of a shoe as well. But that's just about all I have to say for this character. But I've seen a lot of you were commenting saying things like... Why does Persona 5 get this treatment? And I think a lot of it has to come down to the, the sales on it. But I'm very curious to know what character... It doesn't even necessarily have to be Persona 5, but the Persona 5 spin-off games, Persona 4, Persona 3, hell, even back to the other older Persona games. I doubt they're likely to do something like that. If anything, I think they're more likely to make more Persona 4 figurines just because of how big that game got or maybe some more future SMT games maybe SMT3 Nocturne SMT5 maybe we'll potentially see something like that with them but what models would you like to see what figurines would you like to see to get this super high you know definition pinpoint accuracy sort of stuff would you like to see in a figurine for some of those series because we're stretching out not just Persona 5 anymore. We're talking about the Dancing in the Starlight games. We're talking about the animation, which is what the, the On one was, you know, modeled after. Um, Bikini On was technically considered from the animation. So we have stuff from the animation. We have stuff from the core game. We also have stuff from the rhythm dancing game. So it's not too far-fetched to expect something like that from another series. We might get Persona 4, but we might also see the Persona 4 dancing characters also get this same sort of treatment it's very cool to see those other outfits I like this one in particular because i said that this one i think is one of my favorite outfits not just because queen is my favorite character i mean she is but <laughs> i just think she has one of the best dancing ones of the dancing in the starlight outfits compared to the rest of the cast i just think she has one of the best compared to everyone else so getting one of the persona 4 golden dancing games or the dancing game for persona 4 seeing their outfits also be brought into figurines would be pretty cool as well but so let me know what would you like to see i think persona 4 has a pretty good chance uh i think they would do with the normal game first but getting a resay 
you know, dancing outfit would be pretty dope or getting some of the Academy and Kitchen Girls. Some of them would be pretty interesting to see as models. I would really love to see something like that. But let me know what you guys would think. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. So that was a bit of a rant, a bit of a tangent there. But I really was curious to see what the rest of you might think about that. I think that would be pretty cool to, uh, to see. But yeah, thank you guys for so much support over the past a uh, couple of days but doing a lot of exams doing a lot of papers a lot of stuff like that so it's been kind of hard to upload i have neglected my streaming i have my twitch linked down below i try to stream just about every day or every other day so if you want to catch me live there you can expect that i was even considering maybe streaming a persona 5 royal playthrough on the main channel here maybe give me some streams going but that's just sort of an idea something i'm throwing into the air but that's going to end this video for now, everybody. Thank you for the support. Like I've said, I will see you in the next one. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.